All right, so the goal of this video is to resolve sort of a famous paradox or thought experiment in uh, special relativity. Um, it's usually called like the train paradox or the lightning strike train paradox or something like that. Um, but basically, it goes something like this. So let's say you have a train that's moving relative to an observer that's standing on the ground. Um, so maybe in one reference frame here, um, let's say in this reference frame, the observer who's on the train is considered to be at rest, which means that if the, the, the that might mean that they see the uh, person on the ground as moving this way. Whereas in the other situation, this person on the ground might be considered the observer and they will see the train as moving to the right. Right, so Einstein's postulates, one of them tells us that both of these reference frames should be equally valid. So they're both, you know, equally acceptable ways to analyze the situation. Um, but now, let's say in this reference frame, this person sees lightning strike the back and front of the train simultaneously. Pew. Pew. So lightning strikes there and there. And if this person saw the lightning strike simultaneously, right, lightning is going to travel from the front and back of the train. Um, and assuming this person standing at the center of the train, if they saw the lightning strike simultaneously, that means that the lightning actually struck simultaneously in both places, right, because the lightning has to travel this certain distance um, from the end to the person or from the front to the person. And since light travels at a constant speed and it goes the same distance, then he should see them at the same time. So this person can correctly infer that the lightning struck at the same time because he saw the lightning strike at the same time. But let's think about what this means for the other observer, right? This person here. Now, if this lightning struck at the same time in the front and the back of the train, then light traveled towards the train observer, well, this person would conclude that if that lightning struck at the same time, this person can't possibly see the strikes at the same time. And here's why, right? It's because this train car is actually moving. So if we were to recreate this scene, maybe one, like a short moment after we're looking at it now, Right, the train car, right, the platform would be maybe, the platform would be in the same spot because this person is not moving in their reference frame. But the train car is going to be shifted over, right? I'm kind of drawing it a little bit smaller to make room. The train car is going to be actually shifted over. They're still going to be at the center Right, the lightning actually struck at this point here and right about here at this point. And what that means now is this person is actually a bit closer to where the lightning in the front struck. And they've moved away from the lightning that struck in the back. So you can sort of think about it this way. They're, they're running towards the flash here and running away from the flash here. But we know that light should still travel at light speed, right? Light should travel at a constant speed, no matter which frame um, we're, we're analyzing the situation from. And what that means here is that the light actually has to travel a longer distance to reach this person than it does from the lightning in the front. Right? because they're moving towards the lightning that's approaching them and moving away from lightning that is trying to catch up to them, that light from the front lightning strike doesn't have to go as far as the light from the back lightning strike. So if lightning struck at the same time at the front and the back of the train, then what this person would say is that the person on the train should not actually see the flashes at the same time. If the lightning strikes at the same time, this person would say that, oh, you should actually see this flash first because you're moving towards it and therefore it doesn't have to travel as far. So that's sort of the paradox. What actually happens? Well, it turns out that 
the thing that these people will actually agree on is the fact that the train observer sees the flashes at the same time. And the reason for that is because if you think about him seeing the flash, right, both of the flashes, they happen in the same place at the same time, right? This person sees the flashes at the same time. And in special relativity, that's something that all observers will agree on, that if two events happen at the same place simultaneously, all observers will agree that the two events happened simultaneously. But if two events happen simultaneously far apart from each other in one frame, they will not necessarily happen simultaneously in every frame. So what actually happens here is this observer on the ground does agree that this person saw the lightning flashes at the same time. But since they're moving towards this flash and away from this flash, this person on the ground would actually infer that the back lightning strike has to have happened before the first lightning strike because that light flash from the back lightning strike has to travel farther and thus takes more time to reach the person than the, the light flash from the first lightning strike or the, the, the front lightning strike. So in this person's reference frame on the ground, the back lightning strike actually happens earlier than the front lightning strike. So these two lightning strikes are not simultaneous according to this person on the ground, right? So according to this person on the ground, the back lightning strike happens first, and then the front lightning strike happens, but the light will still reach the person simultaneously. So in both reference frames, they agree that the trained person sees the flashes at the same time, but these two observers, right, they would actually disagree on whether the lightning strikes happen at the same time or not. The person on the train says they do happen at the same time, but the person on the ground actually says this lightning strike happens before that one. And that's why this passenger on the train sees them at the same time.